Okay, I got a little ahead of myself, but uh, I'm just going to explain what I'm doing, and you can do it at home to your own vehicle if you want. I've got a 2000 Ford Ranger, and I don't like having the ABS on all the time. So what I'm going to do is uh, these two switches go to a relay bank under the hood. This one's for my off-road HIDs, and this one goes to a relay that I'm not using. But what I'm going to do is use a normally closed contact on the relay, I'm going to wire it into the ABS sensor so that when I turn the switch on, the relay will open, it will throw a fault code, and the ABS won't work. Um, if you pull the fuse on this vehicle, I think it's fuse 14, you lose ABS, but you also lose your speedometer, your tack, your cruise control, and I think the gauge lights even go out. So that's not going to be an option on this truck. But what I did, uh, there's two screws and then you just unhook the lights and then in here uh, this guy's not hooked on to the frame but it sits right here that is your front left wheel ABS sensor I couldn't really work with the wires in there so what I did was I got underneath the truck and how I found it uh, I just followed this wire up and around and eventually it leads me to this. This plugs into that plug I showed you earlier and this coating is on pretty loose so what I'm gonna do is just cut one of these wires hook that to the normally closed contact on the relay so when you break one of these fault code ABS doesn't work and then if you want your ABS to work again after you've thrown the switch, you just shut the switch off, make these wires uh, conductive again, uh, in and out, and then you shut your vehicle off, turn it back on, it'll reset the fault code, you're good to go. Okay, I'm going to test my ABS defeat switch. This is just normal with it off. ABS bucking and fighting and etc. and I came to a stop. Okay. And now I'm just gonna flick the switch. ABS light came on. I still have all my gauges. I didn't I'm not doing the pull the fuse method, which you could do if you're just off-roading, because you're not gonna use the speedometer anyway. And she locked up and I think I stopped quicker doing that okay now to uh, reset put it in park shut my switch off turn the truck off turn the truck back on no ABS light and just jammed on the brakes there the ABS is working again so that's successful modification.